So let's start this off by first creating a kick drum sound in FL Studio. I'm going to use Hammer for this. So under Generators here, under Synth Special, let's drag in Hammer. I'll replace this sampler. I'm just going to create a quick pattern here, a very basic four on the floor style pattern. Slow down the tempo. Many two maybe. And let's hear this. So obviously that's not a kick drum sound. So let's reset Hammer to a basic default sound and start from there. So now we get a basic sawtooth tone and that's being generated from this section here. I can adjust the overall harmonic content of the sawtooth. If you see over here in this analyzer, we have all these odd and even harmonics. So let's get rid of some of these. I want a pure sine wave, so I'm just going to get rid of all the harmonics. And now you can see we just have that pure sine wave tone. I also want to pitch it down. So in this frequency divider, let's set it to 5. So now it's in the kick drum register. We need to now introduce some attack into the sound. To do this, I'm going to click here and select pitch. And let's use an envelope to affect this. I'll enable this envelope. Right click to create a point and right click over here to create another point. So now you can hear we're adding a little bit more of that punchiness to the sound. I'll increase this shape. So the pitch goes up higher. And now it's just a matter of fine tuning the shape to get it to sound a bit more like a kick drum. There's this overall envelope amount. Let's tone that down a bit. Not bad. Let's adjust the overall volume. So in volume here, let's turn on this envelope. I'll give it a similar pluck shaped envelope. Not bad. So now it's just a matter of tweaking this envelope as well as that pitch envelope. You can get so many variations to the kick drum sound by just adjusting this pitch envelope. Alright, so I'm happy with this, but we need to add on a little bit more upper harmonic in the sound, and we can do that by adding some effects, specifically distortion. So I'll switch to this classic mode. Push up the filter, up the wet amount, and the overall distortion amount. And now it's starting to sound a bit beefier. Maybe some compression as well. There's an EQ here. You can right click the dial and look at the EQ shape. I'm going to right click to add additional nodes here. Let's brighten up the highs like this. I'll curve it downward so it's not too bright. Maybe tone down that pitch envelope just a wee bit more. Not bad. Just fine tuning some of these parameters and we pretty much have a decent punchy kick drum sound. Alright, so let's now go ahead and save this preset. Click over here and choose save preset as. I'll call this kick. And that's a kick drum sound synthesized from scratch in FL Studio. Now typically you wouldn't want your drum sounds to be running on a synthesizer. So let's go ahead and sample this and create a waveform out of it. I have a pattern here. I'm going to render this as an audio clip. For the tail, we'll leave remainder. Wave is the output format. And let's start the render. And now over here, under the audio clips, we have this one audio clip pattern. I'll bring it into the playlist. Switch over to song mode. Let's zoom in here and select one of these kick drums. Maybe that last one. So I'll trim out the beginning part. And that can be our kick drum sample. 
All right, so I'll click here now and choose Make Unique as Sample. Go ahead and click Yes to this dialog here. And now we can save this as an audio file on our computer. I have a folder for this already, and I'm going to call this Sponge Kick. So that's how you can save a sound that you've created on a synthesizer as an audio file.